return to the planet of the apes. This is astronaut Bill Hudson aboard spacecraft Venturer. Due to the advanced speed of our craft, according to our Earth clock, we have traveled some 105 years, eight months, five weeks, four days, and 11 hours into our own future. Therefore, we conclude that Dr. Stanton's theory of time thrust is correct. Man can propel himself into the future. What's going on? Look at the Earth clock. It's gone wild. body to dispatch our guerrilla army to seek out and destroy every humanoid animal who roams our planet. It is the only solution to the present crisis. Honored Council, with all due respect to General Erko, I must plead for an alternate course. No. no. If humanoids indeed now possess the ability to speak, as General Erko maintains, they must not be destroyed. They must be studied. This gives us the greatest opportunity we have ever had to do research on our simian origins. Rubbish. Humanoids are nothing but a scourge to all of us. They should be eradicated, not studied. This debate is over. We have heard the arguments for both sides and issue the following decree. Since it has not been ascertained with certainty that humanoids do indeed possess language, we are not prepared at this moment to condemn their species to extermination. They may be hunted in the usual manner for legitimate sport. They may be captured alive and used for menial labor or as domestic pets and for study by our chimpanzee behavioral scientists. However, if indeed it is proven that the humanoid animals have developed language, then according to Article 18 of the Book of Simeon Prophecy, we will destroy them no matter what the cost might be. This emergency session of the Supreme Council is now adjourned. We made it. But where? It looks like Deming, New Mexico, except for the ocean. Look at your watches. According to mine, Earth time is the year 3,979. Well, that's impossible. That means we've come more than 2,000 years in the future. And it doesn't look like we'll be getting back very soon either. Unless someone comes to get us. We've got two days' rations in the survival packs. So we better find food and water quick. Okay, let's move out.
Go on. Leave me. Well, there's got to be food and water out there somewhere. I, I can't go any further. If, if you get out alive, give this to my sister Lily. Back on Earth. Come on, Judy. You can make it.
should be plants and streams at the base of that mountain. life on this planet. Must be fresh water near. Let's find it. Come and go without a trace. Higher ground over there. Maybe we can spot her. We've got to. No one just disappears. Where could she have gone? people would carve apes' faces on a mountain. Let's push on. it before. Where'd you get these? Brent, Ronald, USAF number 55338086. Date of birth, May 2nd, 2079. When did we enter the space program? April 1973, wasn't it? That's more than a hundred years before this guy Brent was born. Someone is already here who wasn't even born when we left Earth. Brent. Where is Brent? knows his name. Bill. My name is Bill. 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 She can say my name. And you. What's your name? Nova. You are Nova. Nova. Jeff. Jeff? Jeff. Jeff? Bill? Nova! Brent, where 
is Brent. Sitting ducks for us. Sound the battle call. Charge! They're apes. They can speak. Move out! Wait 
Grove City. Move out. Reports have reached us that Urko is bringing humanoid captives. Good. That will give Zira and me an opportunity to obtain new research animals. Yes, children. I have left orders for Urko to permit you to select the six finest specimens from this catch. I sometimes think, Dr. Zayas, that without your patronage, simian science would soon die from disinterest. Children, never forget, the free ape is he who does not fear to go to the end of his thought. <laughs>